Hey, how's it going? Just getting back from a trip over to the island. Try to grab a couple things that we were missing, mainly like our kibble for taming, because today we're going out for a tame. I found a moth, man. It's not too bad. It's a level 130, and it's way over here on the map. And I was out doing quite a few of these supply drop runs, and there's like four drops around over here. I found the guy over there. There's actually along this whole ridge here. There's so many moths, dude. Ton of them. Normally I go way on to this side of the map for them, but we'll head over there. Try to get him tamed up today before anything. There's a ton of Morella tops out here, man. It's nuts, dude. Let's grab our clothes. Definitely need some pants before we head out. And we got some good stuff from the supply drop runs. I mean, a couple things, right? We got a headpiece for the desert armor. Now, you used to get a full set in each one of the drops whenever you would find them, but only one part here. I'm guessing with ASA, it's a little bit different on the drops, right? We got a saddle for the moth. Main reason why we're taming one today is because I found the saddle. Let's grab our other gear as well. Don't tell me what's going to be down there. And I found a mirror. Now, we didn't make one of those in the last video because they're super expensive. And we were missing kind of some of the parts for it. I think that's it, right? It is. Get our clothes on. So, kind of excited about that. Whenever we get back over here from cleaning out the, the obelisk, we'll take a look and see how that is. You guys also left me some comments, too. We put it in my inventory so I don't forget on how to use this. I was kind of doing it wrong. It needs to be down there on your hotbar. So, after we get the moth, we'll come back here and test it out. See what it's like. We might change the whole base over to the new frontier style stuff. Oh, it depends, man. It looks kind of cool like it is. Got some more of our plants, too. Got them kind of wrapping around the side there. They look fantastic, but dude, those things right there, so hard to get. Every time I would go up to one and use a shovel, I kept getting <laughs> all these, man. Everything around it. So it's kind of hard to get them, but it's kind of neat, man. I like it, dude. I like it. Definitely a very, very good addition to the game, you know, having more stuff to change around at your base. It's like Arc, man, is like 50% on dino taming and 50% for building, you know? I see you over there, Terror Bird. So, what I got from the other map, I got some of this for making up our shocking trait darts. Speaking of those, I did grab them. Just a dart that was in the refrigerator. Went ahead and grabbed a vault. Grabbed a refrigerator. Not sure if we're going to use a vault. We're definitely going to use that. Got some of our medical brew. Made up a couple more of these and grabbed those. And then went ahead and grabbed the Argentavis. Ah, dude, I hear you, I hear you. Now, as far as the Argentavis, we talked about it before. I did want to bring them, man. I like using things that aren't always used. And that thing is definitely overused. But using the Quetzal, man, for flying around and getting our stuff, it's just super slow, dude. Super slow, man. So went ahead and grabbed him. Might as well. It'll make my life off camera a lot easier. Land you right here for the moment. We'll probably fly out on him today. I don't want any problems. You hear me? Look at me when I talk to you. You're not supposed to be here, so no problems, please. Glad you're here, though. Don't let it go to your head. It's always got an attitude problem, man. Every single day. Are you empty? You don't need the added heat. So, before we head out and grab our stuff for taming, take a look at this mirror real quick. We want to place it... Place it up here by the bed. Maybe right here? See how it is? Now... Arc being arc, I'm guessing there won't be any kind of reflection. There's not. There is! Oh my gosh, my frame rate went from 60 down to like 45. Holy crap, dude! That definitely needs to be worked on a little bit. But it's an actual reflection of the base. Look, Junior's tail's even moving. Let him, uh, do his call here in a minute about the storm. Anytime. It's moving! We move too, and then, yep, we're punching. Interesting! The frame rate drop is not worth it. it. Looks fantastic too, though. Hopefully they'll get that kind of optimized a little bit. Because that would be fantastic to have out. We're back up to 60. <laughs> it took like 15, 20 frames off having that out. It's probably just because of, you know, rendering the actual reflection. That's kind of cool though, man. Glad we didn't make one. So I'm thinking for the... Oh yeah, change this around too, so... I was thinking for the vaults. If it'll fit back there where those two are, we might put it out. Now, I did go ahead and change our stack size as well. It's up to 60 instead of 20 times. So, that's all done in the INI files. And the reason is, I, I like having multiple storage cabinets, right? But I don't want to have like 30 of them out just for all of our stuff. Is this the same footprint? It kind of is. Might not change that today, but we'll definitely put the vault back there, and I'm gonna have, like, no idea where to put the refrigerator. 
I mean, the refrigerator could go outside, over here. We could build, like, a little, uh... It's kind of plain right here, right? So I was thinking if we put some of these sloped ceilings up here. It's like a little bit of an overhang. Just right there, just two of them. Put some pillars coming down. That'll still give us access to the forge. But then we could put, like, the refrigerator out here and probably the preserving bin. Just to get them out of in here, you know? And give us some more room for our workbenches. So, we'll see. If we have time today, we'll do it. Otherwise, we'll do it in the next video. So, let's make our folder. We will store both of these. We'll take that. We don't need all of this. We don't need that one. That can go in the cabinets. Let's grab our long neck. Our super powerful 116 long neck. <laughs> it's not very much at all. And then we'll see about putting some stuff into the barrel. So I'm thinking for the barrel. We'll store things like this. And our kibble. And then things like this, man. So this has got like 10 minutes on the time, right? You put it over here. It still has 10 minutes. Even though you can put it in here. It doesn't actually preserve it. But in that barrel, it should. So we'll take some rare stuff like our soups that we won't really be using too much. And these. And store all that in there. And that should be good. Oh yeah, the vegetables too. So let's... Let's do this, man. Let's grab all of our stuff. So the crop plots only hold 150, and then it kind of stops producing. So with the way that scorched earth is, and the timer's going down super, super fast, that barrel is... Oh, it's going to be perfect, dude. We can put all of our stuff in there, and it'll keep it from spoiling. The only thing is, there's a five-minute timer whenever you open it before you can close it again. You know what I forgot? One of the main things I went over there for was plant species. I totally forgot to grab the plant species. It's fine though, man. It's fine. It's the way that it goes. Might go back and grab some here eventually, just to set out here. Not sure where. I'm wanting to use that instead of... ...setting up a wall, you know? We shouldn't need any of this today. Just leave it all in there for now. That as well. I think for this, we're only gonna need maybe four. We'll take five. Should be fine. So I changed my settings around. The way I had it over on the island is we required the same amount as vanilla for the taming, but I had the dino's food drain set to where it would go down faster. That way you have a boost for the taming like three times or four times, but it required the same amount of stuff. I changed it around because that affects some of the creatures for taming. Guys, what is going on? So it kind of sucks, but now we don't need as much food for taming, but it still takes about the same amount of time. Let's get rid of you. Is this like the Morello Top Central over here? What is going on, man? This is why we need plant species. It's a whole family of them. Do we get fur from you? We don't. You got fur on you. I thought maybe we'd get a little bit of... ...of fur. Cool creatures, but I think they're kind of bugged right now with ASA. I heard that... There's another one. I heard that the... ...the water gets stuck at 750... ...on the amount that you can actually hold. And then... It kind of keeps drinking and kind of bugs out. So, kind of sucks, man. It's a nice creature to have, though, if you're not by a water source. It'll water all your plants and everything around. Plus, provide you with some water. There we go. A little bit of hide. We are running very, very shy on hide. We got rid of some of the trees out here, too, man. Kind of open that up a little bit. It seems like that thing does not move towards the direction of the wind. Which kind of sucks, but is what it is, man. Can't expect everything to be perfect. So, enough talking and messing around here. Let's leave that. We got this. Should we paint it? We should. It adds the extra durability on your teams, man. Look, I don't make the rules. It's just the way that it is. Let's leave some of this here in case, in case we die. I don't want to lose it. Paint it all black, though. It doesn't really help out with the protection. I mean, it might. You never know. All right, so what we need for taming today is to reload this. Now, there's a couple different ways to tame the moths. You can build traps for them. You can run like we're going to on the saber, which we need from upstairs. And just follow it. We could try to do the trap. Not saying it'll work, but we could definitely try it. Let's do the trap. If the trap works, it works. If not, it's fine. We're going to need... Two pillars. Just two. We need some walls. More than that. And we need... Some bolas. So for bolas, we're gonna need some stone, which is in here. We're gonna need some hide, some fiber, some thatch, some wood. We're gonna need that for all of our building. Let's do bola. 
Normally, you should just need one. It is us, though. We're gonna take five. <laughs> that might not even be enough. And then let's make up some of our... So we're gonna need... Two ceilings. Now, you don't need to have Adobe, per se, but, I mean, we, we got a lot of stuff for it, so might as well use that. Alright, so two of you. And then we're gonna need... Two, four, six, eight. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We need twelve of the walls. Right? Put down two of the two, four, six, twelve. Yeah, twelve walls. Math, man, math. I hate to get over there and not have enough, so we'll do eleven more. And so what we plan on doing, so using like uh this as the example, what you do is you bowl of the moth. Right? You put down a pillar, put down two ceilings on the pillar, and then you drop your walls around the whole thing away there. And you should be able to do all that before he gets out of the bola, and then you have him trapped, right? Super simple. If it works. That's the key thing, is if it works. It should. It might. Probably not, but we're going with it. Alright, so, kibble. Long neck. Bolas. Building materials. Cat. Cryos. We got two. Alright, man. Let's close the door. Just in case. Is that a... Electric storm? If so, we can't throw out the cat, which is gonna kinda suck. So let's get up here. It's just a short flight across. I'll try to find him. Now, if he got hit by something, by one of the raptors or terror birds or the thorny dragon and flew off, we'll try to just grab whatever we can over here. I do want to do breeding on him. I don't know if I ever have before. But it's gonna be kind of a key thing for doing our dragon runs and stuff like that so wouldn't mind getting some bread and try to get some cool colors on them man something i usually don't do too often is breed for colors it's best to have your ones for stats first and then doesn't really matter what level the color ones are right you just want to get the colors bred over later on so seeing as how we had a kind of an easy start on scorched earth that was kind of my plan was to do a lot of breeding over here try to get mutations for our boss fights try to get some colors and stuff mixed in There's a lot going on so much stuff on the ground dude Titanosaur. That is the third one I've seen on this map. There's actually two over there. Or one over there and one over here, I think. One is orange and black. Oh, dude, it looks fantastic. That's a green and purple one. Kind of ugly, but on the map, I'll show you again where we are. Right over here, roughly at 3561. There are so many moths in this area, man. Holy crap, dude, there's a ton of them. The one we're going for is a 130. I did see, I think it was a 110. What's the next highest level? It's a 20. Where is ours? Whenever I saw him, he was, like, right over here. He had just landed. Oh, is that him? Oh, perfect. That's him there. It's a male. Colors are kind of cool, man. The body's kind of, eh. But the wings are, like, a darkish blue and gray. Look fantastic, man. Like a grayish blue, actually. So let's land you here. Let's get out the cat. I don't know if we can. We might be too close to the storm. We're not. Perfect. Let's pick up the bird. Make sure he's empty. Do not want to leave anything here. Now with the cat so there's no way we'd be able to follow the moth if we mess this up. So the cat works for sure, and then the Argentavis should as well. Where's the ads? Over there. I want to kill off these terror birds first. We need them gone. Thorny dragon as well. Thorny dragon is definitely on the list to get tamed up. They're cool creatures, man. Kind of sucks with the low weight on them, but very cool creatures. Get back in your shell, buddy. Oh, it's gonna let you live. Alright, so, the moth. Oh, little terror bird. Baby one. Junior! We talked to you for a minute. Uh-huh. Hate those almost as much as I do galleys. I hear the footsteps of the moth. I don't want to scare it, is a thing. Where did he go to? Another terror bird. Get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of you. It's kind of a important thing to have your whole area clear because, man, if you don't know, whenever you hit one of those, they fly so fast and so far away. Speaking of flying away, where is Junior? Is that him? Oh, it is, okay. Holy crap, dude, see? 
He's kind of airborne. We need it for him to land. Missed. Oh, no. We're off to the side. Missed it again. Look, this is why we bring so many of the bolas. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. What is that? Is that a wolf? Or is that a kangaroo? Are you friend or foe? That's a Thyla. That's even... <laughs> that's even more terrifying. It's a 45. All right, where's the moth again? Look, man, look. I'm nervous. He's running off. Is that ours? Couldn't see the numbers before he dipped down. It is. He's on the run. We might skip the trap and just do... Ebola? Shoot him with some of the tranks and then follow him. All depends on how far he goes before he decides to come back down. We got three more of the bolas. Let's not talk about my aim with those. Okay, it's always been bad. Always been an issue. What level are you? 85. That's one of the 85s that I saw. A couple of those around, but all along here, man. So many moths, dude. Oh, there's a rock golem! Where'd my moth go? Don't be swinging at me. He's right there. Don't hit the moth. Please don't hit the moth. Please don't hit the moth. If we get far enough away, he'll go back down into the ground. We might just hit that moth and run, and just follow him. It'll get us away from all this bad stuff over, over here. You're gonna land right by that guy, aren't you? Junior, he's sleeping in the ground, man. Leave him alone, dude. Over here. I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want to drop him on the rock golem. That's where he's gonna land, though, is right over here, too. Yep, I see you, man. I see you! I don't want to fight you. We don't have the proper equipment for that. Yep, he hit the, uh, he hit the moth. The moth is running. We're gonna have to get the bird back out. Nope, maybe not. He's back here. Perfect, perfect! Land, Junior, land! You're not ours! I lost track of ours! That's a 20! Ours might have gone up on top of the mountain. I need to get the bird back out, man. That's all there is to it. Try to really locate this guy again. Yep, there's a cat too. Come on, dude! A guy just wants to tame a moth, man! Hardest part is actually getting them on the ground to hit him with a bola. Let's get out the bird. We'll just pick up the cat because he's been injured. We can't throw him into a cryo. I'm trying to be careful with this moth because it's the highest level one that I've seen so far. And I don't really want to mess it up. Is that ours? That's ours there. Okay. Get back on the cat. Back over here by the rock golem. He's on the ground. He's just on the ground in a bad spot, man. He's like right there, dude! What level are you? Level five? I mean, that's not too bad? Oh, dude! Don't hit the moth, though. We do a whole 29 damage to him. That's the problem, though, right? It's, it's a it's it's a rock golem, so they do a lot of damage to us, and we get reduced to them. A stuff like a Giga is very good for killing them off. We're not gonna be able to, man. We're not gonna be able to. They got like a thousand or so hit points, or more. Do not hit my moth. Please don't hit my moth! That's why he's over there. He knows that he's safe. Smart guy. I'm just saying. <laughs> the only problem is, we need to get that guy to go back into the ground. Which he just did. And the moth is walk walking right back over towards him. It's like a game of cat and mouse, you know? Come this way, buddy. A little bit further. A little bit further. Let's do this. Alright, so you're good. Let's try the trap first. Okay, that's good there. Stay calm. Maybe just one because it's right in the middle. It's even better. Don't get too close to the rock home. Oh, we got too close. Junior, don't break this. Please don't break it. Please don't break it. I can't put it there. 
This way, this way. Oh, dude, where's the cats? The moth should be... Maybe trapped. Junior. Junior, the moth is out. The moth is out, okay? Copy that, we are not doing the trap. Junior! Buddy, where are you at, man? Leave him alone! No, watch out! Okay, look. We're doing this the old-fashioned way, okay? We're going to follow the moth. And just shoot him and run. We need to hit him with a bowl of first and get a couple of the darts into him. I heard something die. It's just the water jug bug over there. Come over here. Go back in the ground. We'll leave you alone. Go back in the ground. The moth's on the ground. We're getting heat stroke too. That's gonna be a problem here very, very fast. Go on the ground, buddy. You're alright, man. I'll leave you alone. I know, man. I know. I disturbed your peace. This is becoming harder than it needs to be. So, the moth. We'll just do it this way. Old fashioned way, man. It's gonna suck, but I don't want to deal with the trap again. Hit him with a couple of these. We can't actually knock him out before he starts flying. We'll just kind of follow him. Hopefully he'll go towards the desert. And not back over towards the rock hole. We're thirsty. We're out of water. Holy crap, we're out of water. He's gonna break out here in a second. Luckily, we've got a lot of the cactus around. We can use the sap for... food and water. Nice, he's out. Okay, cool. Sometimes they break out before you can actually get them down. We good? I need to make a tent to bring with us, man. Alright, so let's just do... all five. Not sure how many it's gonna take. Let's grab a little bit of cactus. And let's see what we need for making a tent. Not sure how long he'll be there. Hide and silk. That's not too bad. We got hide and you, right? We got hide. Where is the purple plants? We'll kill off another one of the moths. They give you a bunch. You can kind of see our vision's getting kind of weird, man. From the heat stroke. What are we up to? It doesn't say how much heat stroke we have. Why is it not on our screen anymore? It used to tell you how much heat stroke you're at. What percent? The higher it goes, the worse it gets, and the longer it takes to go away, right? I don't see any of the moths on the ground. Yep, I see you, I see you. We'll shotgun him. There we go. Stamina got stepped, that's fine. We just need 10, there we go. 152, you get a ton from the moths. So apparently, those things can passively make uh, the silk. Never seen that before, never really needed to use it. We're thirsty again, too. Where is... Oh, we ran over him. <laughs> it's right there. You're right. You're not dead, are you? You're not. You're taming. Let's grab some of this. And we'll make our tents. Heal back up. And we'll be safe. Alright, that's good for now. Cat has all the silk. Put down the pick. Alright, one of you. Should always have one of those whenever you leave base, especially for taming. Drop all this extra weights. I don't care about these, it's fine. We definitely need that, though. Here's our tents. Looks about the same. A little bit better. And then in here, you can kind of see you get a buff from your insulation status up. It'll help out with the heat stroke, and if you get the heat waves, close that. You're kind of good, man. How is Junior doing, though? It's going to take a while for his food to go down. Not sure how many bites of kibble he'll need. But that's one reason why I liked having the taming set the other way. Because their food would drain fast. But this should actually take our health up as well. It used to kind of heal you and stuff. It is. We were at 277, now we're at 279. So that's going up. The heat stroke should be going down. By the time he's done, we'll probably pick up the cats. And head back to base on the moth. We'll play around with the, uh, the structures a little bit. Kind of curious on how the skin works, you know? Or not how it works, but how stuff looks. 
Apparently there's some new glass pieces in there as well, so super, super excited about that, man, because the, the vanilla glass is ugh, it's so ugly, man, for the greenhouse. Super, super ugly. And there it goes. Nice, man. Nice. I was eating a little bit more of the sap. Our, our <laughs> water was going down. You alright, buddy? You good? It was a pain getting you, I'm just saying. Let's pick up this. Now, the thing with those is you can't actually repair them. So once they're broke, they're broke. They do take damage over time. But that is a thing. Let's pick you up. We'll throw the saddle on the moth. Take a look at some stats. Let's actually keep this. There we go, man. There we go. Only one piece of kibble. I hate that. I hate the the taming thing like that, but it is what it is. Anyways, it's a male. He got to be level 194. We got 1820 on the health. Stamina is 435. Our weight is 273. And then 291 on the damage. So, again, if you're new, these things do no damage at all. It's, it's not the way that they work. Only attack they have is that. When that hits you, it takes all your stamina away. It does work on wild creatures. However, it does not work on dragons. Look, I have done extensive testing. Not by choice. <laughs> that does not work on the dragons. We are getting very bad heat stroke, though. Everything's looking kind of weird. It gets super hard to see whenever you've been out for a long time. So let's head back to base. The adobe should help us to kind of recover from that. And then apparently this is just a skin. So even though we changed the look of our base from adobe, it should still be the adobe foundations and stuff. So we'll get our protection like it is kind of now. So kind of cool, man. We'll see. We'll see. Should we stop by and get that drop? It's close, man. It's on the way. Might as well. Now, one thing I'm looking for in these drops, the main thing is going to be... Ooh, another Thyla. Is the uh, pump checks. So we don't have to make them. Level 10. All right. I think we'll be fine. Fur. <laughs> of all things. Uh, we actually don't need that. I'll put it into the grinder. But fur is definitely something you do not need on this map. Nowhere on this map. Is it cold? I mean, nighttime gets a little bit chilly, but not enough for fur armor, man. You can usually just have on your normal stuff and be protected. Definitely want to get some more Thylas, though. We've only got the one back on the island, but it was low level. I think it was like a level 60 or 90 when we tamed it. So over here, mainly over there, used to be a very, very good spot to get them. If we can find some that are high level and stuff, we'll definitely get some tamed. And we're looking for a female. The colors on this guy are not bad, man. I really like the wings. The body, not so much, man. The gray's kind of cool, but the tan color underneath... Not a fan of it. Alright, first things first, let's grab some water. Hopefully all of the Morella tops are gone. Holy crap, dude, there's a ton of them around. There we go, man, there we go. A little bit better. I need to start carrying that other cantina with me that we have. We got two of them. Now let's put you up top. It's the whole point of having this up here. Our moth army will go up here. I like them, man. One of my favorite teams for this map. They're kind of like a pterodon, but a little bit different, right? And you on follow? Make sure you stay up there. Alright, so down we go. Let's open up our... ...storage bin. We'll put all of our darts in there. Now, the problem is we got five minutes before we can actually seal it again. Oh, wait. I didn't seal it before. That was sitting unsealed the whole time. Ah, oh, dude, that sucks, man. Let's restack our kibble. And then, did we use that many darts? We did. It was like six or seven, right? That should be good there. Might as well grab the rest of our vegetables, too, before we seal it. And that way it can kind of stay sealed for a long time. It, it makes these fairly fast, you know? Like, compared to not using the shovel. Now, we should be able to use the shovel over on the island as well. And even though we won't downsize that greenhouse, it'll be nice just to have the extra, extra stuff, you know? When we're done doing the other two boss fights that we have over there, the Alpha and Beta Overseer, I plan on not going back to that map. I mean, if we can help it. Sometimes the events are over there, though. For the holidays. So that's good there. We got, what, four minutes? It's fine. Let's uh, get rid of our gear and start changing this around and see how it looks. Let's leave this in here. That can go in there. And then the bird, we don't have a place for him. For right now, he can kind of just stay in there. We're going to keep the tent on us. It's 25, 24 pounds. Kind of heavy, but is what it is, man. 
helps keep us alive out there, you know? And those two things will probably just grind. We could go ahead and build this out here too, real quick. Place for the refrigerator. Let's do that. We should have the parts. So we just need two of those. A couple of those. Actually, you know what? We need four of the slopes, I think. Possibly. Nope, just two. Two will be fine. Should we do it over the door, too? We'll do the thin post. Thin post. I know it's kind of weird having the refrigerator outside, but at the same time, it works, you know. Should we put it there? So it's out of the way, in the corner. Kind of works. And let's grab the preserving bin. We'll move it too, and then all of our bottles as well. So most of this stuff will go into the actual refrigerator. We're overweight already. Oh, it's all the meats. Speaking of food, eat a little bit. Oh, the uh, the jerky, man. Stuff wastes so much. I don't think we can put the preserving salts in here unless they changed it. So we'll definitely take a look and see. We'll place you right there. We'll move our light over. Turn it on. Nothing in there at the moment. Let's put our bottles. Oh, it took me forever. I had to build scaffolding to get up to it. There's one. There's two. There's three. <laughs> I built scaffolding in here to get up to it. And let's try with our salts if it'll go in. Refrigerator. Probably not. Why do we have that in there? Need that for sure, too. I need to empty all of this jerky out of our inventory. Oh, let's try this first. Beer always goes in the fridge. And this, you should be able to put in there, and over time, that'll turn into a, like an ice cube. I think. I know with the jars you can. That still does not go in there. Oh, that sucks, man. Put a lot of this back here. We just need a little bit. And all this will go in here to make jerky. We'll do some cooking here eventually. Just to get some better foods. Alright, so that is sorted. I know, a storm coming, buddy. It's not too bad. We'll paint this as well. Get that kind of sorted out. And then... You can have that back. And you can have that back. So... Has it been four minutes? 20 seconds. So let's try this out here. So you can see down there we've got six different parts. We've got the frontier wood structures. we got the glass. Jailhouse. That's kind of cool, man. Let the breeze kind of go through, you know? we got the saloon doors. Interesting. Now what if something can actually get underneath that? Or does it count as a full door with the collision? We've got Frontier Sign. We don't have any signs to put out. And we've got a canvas frame. Interesting. You can put a frame on the canvas. Kind of see it right there. That's kind of neat, man. That's not too bad. Let's seal this, though, real quick. And that's good. Should all be protected. So, should we start in here or outside? Let's do... The greenhouse glass first. Now, can we make any structure glass? I don't think so, right? That's wood. It just replaces it. It looks better. Looks like a normal window. Now, I thought you could actually take this and change anything over to that. I guess you can't. It can only be placed on walls, slope walls, and windows. Oh, wait. Will it change out the whole wall? Where's the one we don't care about? That I can just pick up if we need to. Um, let's do it up here. Right here. Oh, you can't. Is this not a window? Oh, you know what? It might change the window. Nope, not letting me. Oh, that is fantastic! Look at that, man! It changes that to an actual piece of glass. That's kind of cool. 
So if we do this with the wood, and it's supposed to keep the paint. It does. You can kind of see the paint up there on the wood. Is that the door frame as well? What about the slope? If we do the railings? You can. Get out of that. Get out of that. There we go. That's kind of neat, man. That looks fantastic, dude. I like how the glass... ...is on the window. It's like an actual window. Now we don't need the big windows, you know, that are normally there. And it is still showing as Adobe. So we'll get the protection from the heat and stuff. Ah, dude, I like it. So, let's, let's do a little bit more testing. Thank goodness all these wood tiles are going the same direction. I'm just saying, I would lose my mind. Like these out here, we're going to have to change them. They're going opposite ways. But I want to see how it looks from down below with the paints. Can we please? Not that. Get out of that. I do like the paint color. I think if we redo the whole base, which we might do, we're going to keep the paints. Now, I'm curious. Well, one, how do the steps look? Look kind of cool. And how does the roof look? Like this. Oh, can we do all the greenhouse glass? Oh wait, it says just the walls, slope walls, and windows, so not these. Oh, that sucks, dude. So we can't change at the top. Just the bottom ones? I mean, it's still better than what these are, you know? That looks so much better. Ah, so much better. Let me, uh, check the roof out over here. We might just do the whole base as a frontier stuff. So we need this to go to... that. That looks good. It actually does the whole... whole roof. See, that one's kind of got, like, the, the base color still in there? It's not, like, a solid color. That is... That looks so much better. Let me go through and change all these out. Now, if we don't do the glass on these, what's the other option? Wood. I think the glass would be the best, right? Looks kind of like a window, then we can actually close these and have them... I don't know, they look kind of weird open to me. To be honest with you. And they look like actual windows, you know? I like that a lot. Ah, dude. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Give me about five hours, okay? I'm gonna go through, change all the parts around. Now, just, just as a warning, some of the floor tiles might be going different directions. I'll pick them up when I can. Might not be in this video, but you can be sure it's gonna happen off, off camera because I cannot deal with stuff going all different directions. So just, just bear with me. Do not come at me in the comments if the floors are going different ways. I, I know it's gonna happen, man. It's gonna happen. They're not all gonna be going the same way. And I'll fix them whenever I can. Alright, so I think I'm just about done, for the most part. I know there's going to be somewhere that I forgot. And then if you're wondering too, if you don't want this look, you literally just click it again, and it goes back to normal. And so many of the floor tiles, man. <laughs> Those things are so messed up everywhere. It's fine, though. It's easy to see to go back now and change them. I'll probably do a little bit more painting off camera just to change some things up. Now that we've got the different texture, I like how it keeps the paint, too. Whenever you're done. Like whatever you had. I do like how the beams are the darker color. And might go through and paint the nails and stuff. We need some water. We're out of water again. It's alright, so we've got this here. Let's fill up our canteen. Wait. What happened to my... Did I just lose my canteen? What happened to my canteen? I went to click on it, and it went poof. Well, that kind of sucks. I'll be replacing that here whenever we're done recording. Where's my other one at? Not in here. There we go. Things are expensive, man. I'm just saying, dude. Those used to be bugged on ASC2 sometimes, right? Try to fill it up, and it would eat it. Or was it the tech ones? I think it was the tech ones in the cooking pot when you're trying to make stuff. So I didn't paint these intentionally, just in case you want to see how the roof looks normally. I will paint it, though, after we're done recording. The same blue color, but out here, 
Oh, dude, it looks so nice, man. And then these are the... Get rid of that. The poles. They look better than the Adobe ones, for sure. It's not too bad. I think I have everything changed over. I think there might be one under here. I'll pick it up off camera because I need to change around some of the floors. That one. And then the other ones that are kind of messed up are out here. Go all different directions. It's hard to see with the Adobe because you don't know which way it's facing. But, dude, that looks awesome, man. Very, very nice. I really, really, really hope they do more of this in the future with the different skins. Because, again, building man in Ark is like most of the most of the gameplay, right? Getting your base set up and things like that. It looks better, though. We'll leave it like this instead of the Adobe. Feels more homey. I like the windows. I'm going to replace a lot of these, and I'll put in windows, like the glass on these, and have them closed. The actual ladder changes as well. So pretty much everything has a skin for it. I don't know if I like the paint on the railings there. Might change that to normal. I have to see. Not exactly sure. We'll do a quick, uh, well, we'll double check down here that I don't have anything else. We'll do a quick flyby, and then we'll look at it from the outside. That's nice, though. <laughs> Dude. Oh, that is so nice. Now, there are more skins coming with Aberration and Extinction. I just don't know what they are. I think we're good. One last check out here. That's the front of our base. It turned out pretty well up here with the railing still, how they look. And I did get the, the side pieces done as well. They kind of connect better where they go up and then over. So it looks pretty cool. Might do some of these side pieces on this. Just to kind of block it in, make it look like it's actually being supported. I do a lot of that little bit of tinkering off camera. Let's jump on the bird. Do a quick aerial view. Still learning where stuff is. And that kind of matches with the the lights better too, right? How they look. Oh, I didn't even realize, man. Our <laughs> the wings on the moth match our base. It's kind of cool. With the blue, dark gray, whatever you want to call it. I don't know about that. It might be bugs still. Oh, before we go, we have to check one more thing. I know, I know, I was ready to go after this. The, uh, scaffolding. You guys told me to take a look at the scaffolding because that can actually sit on it. Is the ground okay? Pictures were flickering. But that's the window there with the actual glass. It looks so much better than the vanilla stuff, right? Very nice. Very, very nice, especially with the plant species. Not sure where or if we'll put out the X species that we have, but I do have it with us. Might not put it by base, might just kind of set it off out to the side to kind of protect in the perimeter. I like it though, man. I like it. The paint on the roof is like very, very subtle compared to the normal, but it is there, you know? I like it, dude. I like it. Let's land you right here. Take a look at the scaffolding before we go. I'm not sure if that's made in our inventory. What is it even called? Scaffolding. So we need thatch, wooden fiber, okay. Now the thing is too, the vault. I don't know if the vault would actually look good in here. Something we could do because it's a vault, right? We could actually put up the jail stuff around that. <laughs> Have it kind of uh, kind of boxed in. I mean, you want to protect your vault, right? It's kind of the whole thing, man. Don't want robbers coming by. Again, the whole train and robber thing is still super weird to me with the dinosaurs. It's cool though. It's just weird. Let's make ten. I don't know how many we need, or what all that can be used for, but we'll see. The uh, the water tank, I need to look it up. If you guys know what's going on with the water tank, let me know. I removed that one for testing, and it did the same thing. All that stuff over there gets irrigated from it, even though the range comes way out past the base. But the thing on this side of the base, it doesn't want to irrigate. Not sure if it's just bugged, or what the deal is. So with these, provide structural integrity. What would you use it for? Can we walk through it? You can't. I thought it would be like a wall without collision. You could actually go through it. So, how do we set it up for the water tank, though? Is a thing. How do you place a water tank on top? Oh, dude, it's a sandstorm. Got my HUD off, so I couldn't see it. I like playing with the HUD off, but there's so much stuff you need to know in ARC what you're doing. <laughs> kind of a key thing, man. So that cannot be just set out. It has to be on a foundation. So if you put down a foundation, I'm guessing, then you can put the water tank on top. Could we... That would look super weird. 
Having the water tank over here, though, right? Built off the back deck. I'm not sure where we would use the scaffolding instead of just pillars, right? I mean, okay, so I guess the main part of it's going to be for if you have, you're like on official server. Because right now I got collision turned off and then the need for foundations underneath. So we can actually build out further, I think, right? Or is that S plus? I don't know. I get all those kind of mixed up, man. Between ASA and ASE. I'm playing both games right now, so it's kind of messing with me. That sucks. They look cool. I just don't know where I would use them. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, well, not too bad of a day. Kind of sucks doing an outro in the middle of a sandstorm, but is what it is. We got our moth team. Fantastic creature. Had some problems. I did not want to mess up and lose it. It's the highest level one that I saw. The trap didn't really work out too much. He kind of glitched out of it. Not sure why that's a thing. I used to do them with windows so you could actually shoot through them. And that would always trap them. So I don't know, man. Might just be kind of like a little bit of a bug with uh, ASA. And then we got the Frontier Pack stuff kind of changed over. Appreciate the comments. Let me know how to use the skin. It looks fantastic, man. I like the Adobe base that we had. But this new one, man, oh, looks so nice. Plus you get the like protection from the Adobe and stuff. So it's kind of cool, man. It's not too bad at all. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.